Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm at the World of Wheels in Chicago in Rosemont, Illinois. If you want to see a great World of Wheels show, go to the description and check out the website. And I hope you see some great cars there at that show. Today I'm with Rich, your last name? Kenny. And Rich has a great car. What year make and model is this one? It's a 1965 Malibu Chevelle. And this one is all original. You're going to enjoy this one. So, Rich, first of all, let's take a look at the front of it. What's the color of this one? It's mist blue. And we put it on this turquoise carpet, and it looks like it's in a sea. It just looks wonderful. Now, the amazing thing about this car, I think it'll do well on the channel for views, because in 1965, this was the kind of car people would buy. It wasn't necessarily outside of their scope. And show me about the headlight here. Tell me what's going on. All the headlights are T3s, but this one here is a 1965 original T3 sold with the factory Got with it. the lines in it. The lines in it. Got it. So when you saw this car, how did this all happen that this car became yours? It's got the little hood ornament. Go ahead. I seen it on Craigslist. Yeah. And it was there the next day, not too far from the house. I went and looked at it. As soon as I seen all the paperwork from the original owner and I didn't even look at the car too much, all the paperwork, and I just bought the car. <laughs> Simple as that. Now, did you have any connection to the car, or it was just that, oh my gosh, it's a survivor, it and this guy's baby? Survivor. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. yeah, I like the red lines on there with the dog dishes. Did it come with dog dishes? No, it did not. It okay. came with uh, uh, white walls and Okay. So you upgraded that. We'll go to the interior in a second. You've got the Malibu script and the Chevelle text. Let's come over here. We've got some nice trunk and treats for you in this one, which we'll just see in a second. That looks great. Uh, gas cap behind the plate? Yes. Okay. We'll open that. And as you can see in our trunk and treats, we've got some details here for that. So let me just give you a little light on that. I'm going to have you hold that for a second. Go ahead. Tell me what we've got here. What's kind of interesting about this, when the person bought the car, you could look here. He handwritten it uh, on the 23rd. Then later the next day, she came and picked it up on the 24th, wow. and he typed it out. That's great. And this is this is the same one as this one, but yeah. And I got the original check stub, and what came with the car, the protecto plate. Nice. You got the Malibu Super Sport with a couple of pieces there, and the, the SS there. Maybe that. So often we just park our car on the beach in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the photographs are great. And you've got the, the convertible, very nice, be very careful here. I'm not sure what she's doing on the rock, we'll just leave that there. The 300 Deluxe, the four door. The Chevelle Wagon. Taking it on the road. Some of your interior, you could have the buckets, the bench for your Super Sport or your Malibu, your Chevelle 300, the 300 Deluxe. You would think the Malibu would be the Deluxe, not the 300 mm, <laughs> Deluxe. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then with extra cost options like these. This is interesting. Other Chevelle pertinent facts. I'll pause that so you can read that. Like so. Great trunk and treats there. Then the price of this car, brand new, yeah. was pretty expensive back then. It was $3,266. Right. And we come up here. And you can see the crinkles on there from all the original work, and you can see some of the markings on that, like this down here. Show that down there. 
right down there. Yeah, all the markings. It's all the real deal. All right, we'll close this. I want to show one more piece when we close it. Look at how nice that chrome piece is kind of connecting the, the tail lights. All right, let's open it, shall we? Yeah. So as we open up the door, you've got your Chevy bow tie there. You can see this car has the original seat. There's your bench. Your back seat. Your headliner. One thing I want to show too is that's kind of what would happen to your to your chrome back then as you sat back there. So you can see this car was sat in. A really nice dashboard as you can see. I like that piece right there. Now tell me about these miles. These are original, almost 3,400. 34,000. 1,000 miles. Wow. I got the paperwork to show that. Show that. That's incredible. So you see the Chevelle there, and then over here, you can see the Malibu. Wow, that is great. What's the, uh, when you drive this to car shows, what's the reaction? Everybody says, I used to have one of these. <laughs> or I used to have this and everything. So they just stare at it. They for a stare while. at it. They look at this car more than somebody who spent tons of work on their car. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? So now normally this car would come with a 283, but this is the upgrade 327. 250 motor. horse. 250 horse. Yes. Nice. And we can see. There's your details there. Just a really nice survivor old car. That's just so cool. Because it takes you right back to 1965. You can see like under the, the hood. You know how that all is. Let's uh, fire it up, shall we? Yeah. We'll let it idle. We'll step on the brakes when I go back there. We'll give it a roll. Smooth. Let's get the tail lights, please. Dual exhaust. Did you add the dual exhaust? Yes, I ended up adding the dual exhaust. Nice. Here. Go ahead, give it a rev. That sounds nice and throaty. All right, Rich, we'll shut that down. Come on out. Rich, what a fun car. So much fun to get the chance to share this car and let's see what the Globe thinks about it. All right, thanks. I had a fun time with you. Thanks for bringing it out to the world of reels. Thanks for being on my car. Awesome, store. thanks.